Hi everyone, we're here to do our giveaway for glossy box number one, glossy box number two. One was the one with the pillowcase, the other one we are calling the one with the black marble roller. So I'm so excited. We have this contest, uh, well not contest, we're in this giveaway a little bit longer than I usually do, but we did have quite a few entries, so I am so excited about that. So I hope that you guys stay tuned and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Today we are just going to do a quick little vlog. So we have got coffee, tea, wine, and life. And it has been such a hot summer. We've had quite more, a few more heat waves than we usually do. Right now it's a perfect day. It's like mid 70s. We're going to be down to like 58 tonight. Just a really nice cool day. But I've been enjoying my iced coffee. So, you know, I usually love my Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but I don't get out too much anymore. But, you know, when we were back, I think it was in 2019, it was before COVID, and I had gone home for, um, for Christmas, and we went to this place called Marisol's. I'm probably saying it wrong, Cafe in North Dartmouth. And they had like the infamous, what I call the chippy drink. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but their iced coffee rivaled my favorite Dunkin Donuts coffee so when the kids were out here in April they bought uh, like that cold brewed coffee from like Target and then we just kind of mixed it with some Dunkin Donuts creamer and things like that and it was so so good so I made my own little version because I didn't want I used the Dunkin Donuts extra extra creamer in my coffee anyway so I have got the cold brew coffee I got the medium roast and then I got some almond milk and um, vanilla flavor and some of the Dunkin Donuts the extra extra crema mix some ice in it put it through my little blender put a little bit of whipped, whipped, whipped cream on top and some caramel topping and I have got my own little iced coffee so so good hoping it's not as fattening with the almond milk in it cheers everyone alrighty so that said so we got the iced coffee out of the way I was brave yesterday and I went to and I didn't even have Mr. Griffin with me for my support I went to crumble cookie all by myself and I got two of the cookies of the week they look amazing so check out this one shall we so we've got the individual boxes and this one was the berries and the cream so this says it's um, berries and cream. It's blueberries and strawberries, and it's topped with whipped cream and blueberry jam. Does that not look awesome? And then because I couldn't decide, I got another one too. So this one, and this was the last one that they had. And this is what this one looks like. So this is a strawberry crumb cake. It says it's buttery strawberry cookie with, whoops, there it almost goes with a sweet milky glaze and it's topped with a pop of strawberry and vanilla streusel so i'm gonna have to try these with my coffee so i hope you don't mind my being so rude to try these but i just have to so i took out a fork so i wouldn't take such a big bite Let's see if i can stab this a little bit i should have taken a little piece up but then it wouldn't have looked as nice okay so i got the strawberry one for a strawberry crumb cookie. Mmm. You could really taste the strawberries in that. It's almost like a strawberry shortcake. So, so good. This one's going to be tricky because I want to get that blueberry jam in here. Alright, I think I did it. This one's going to be a little bit messier. Alrighty going in cheers everyone hope if you have a crumble cookie next to you check it out mm. they are both amazing i'm gonna wash it down with my iced coffee whoops all righty so so good all righty so we are going to do our giveaway for the glossy boxes and as you know, I had quite some trouble, and I guess everybody else did too, with their glossy boxes getting the ones they ordered. And I wouldn't have minded so much 
you know, if they had let you know that they didn't have stock and they were sending you a replacement. And then they kept sending the same two boxes. So we've got this one, which was the one with the pillowcase. We're calling that number one. And then this one had the black marble roller. And we're calling that number two. So we are going to do a new comment picker. It's not really a comment picker, it's just a random. You put the names on a wheel and then it spins. So we're trying that to see how that goes. I filmed that last night, just before midnight. So I did that because I had closed the, um, the entries earlier in the day. And so I did it on my cell phone. So I'm going to try to put it and insert it in here when we um, when we get to the end. So we'll see who wins. So I'm excited to be doing that. And of course, whatever else I can kind of fit in those boxes is what we'll do. Alrighty. But, um, oh, so what is going on? Had some long days at work. You know, that's always the case with me. Um, it's just been so, so hot and humid. And even though like some of the nights we went down to like in the 50s one night I think we went down to 48 degrees but then the days were still in the mid 90s so it's been really hot um, air quality has been bad so just having trouble trying to breathe and things but I did try to do the elliptical after hours where I usually try to do it during the week so I got a few more steps in and things like that so I'm hoping that kind of gave me a little bit more activity so maybe we will see at the end of the month how I did with um, my number wise. All right, Timu. You know, I love my Timu hauls and just having so much fun. And I know their clothes are not top notch or anything like that, but they're equivalent to like the dresses, some of my rockabilly dresses and some of the blingy dresses and things that I got from Amazon, but like third price. And you know, those I don't wear out of the house. I just wear them for like my wine diaries and doing some videos and things like that. So for that, it's perfect. And this is a team of wig. I don't even know if I showed this one to you, but it's a longer wig. Um, it's part supposed to be kind of a little bit more on the side and then I just kind of use some bobby pins to pin it over but anyway loving these team of whips web wigs don't know how they would really hold out if it was something that you were wearing 24 7 but for what I'm paying for them and just putting them in here and there for videos and things I think they are fun even with them wore them out to dinner and things with Sabrina and the jelly beans and even when um, Raina and Jeremy were out here with Quinn and Matt, you know, I still wore the, the wigs out for brunches and dinners and things like that And so they really held up good. So I'm excited about that. I've got maybe two hauls Mini mini hauls that just have some clothing items and things like that in them But I've got a couple on the way and some that are here that I've just picked up a couple of items for Halloween and fall and things like that so Pretty soon I'm going to start kind of transitioning into getting ready for the fall and Halloween and I'll do those videos then. Speaking of Halloween, last year for Halloween, and I didn't do a, a video every day like some people did, just whenever I do my normal videos uh, during the month and I had um, done a donation to Children's Miracle Network for the 31 days of October. So it was a candy like a candy advent calendar for Halloween. The box was, oh my gosh, it was the best advent calendar. Well, other than like one for some of the makeup ones, but for a candy um, advent calendar, it was so, so good. I hadn't seen anything on their website or anything like that. So I did reach out to them and I asked if they were going to be doing it again and they will be doing it. And they said to watch for an email. So I'm going to be doing that. I don't remember what it was. I'm thinking it was right around $30 and that was all donated to the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. So it was a really great one. So I'm looking forward to getting that in. And oh you know how i love my vlogmas uh last year having doing a little video every day whether it was just having a little uh a little wine maybe a, i think i bought petty fours or something last uh last year to have with it and i think i did get a candy one but we'll see how that goes but there was a little mix up on the advent calendars for my sip and savor wine club and for whatever reason they told me they weren't doing it so i ordered one on my own as part of that uh, quarterly subscription that i got from them and then lo and behold they sent me one so there's one box that i didn't open last year i think it's the one that had 24 bottles in it i didn't open it so i figured you know what 
it's sealed that's what I'm going to do this year for my vlogmas I will open those and if I don't like them then I'll just I got plenty of wine I'll just uh, open another bottle but from givethembeer.com I got my sparkling wine because Sip and Saver wasn't have didn't have it last year so I wanted to make sure I got it and they just posted that um, they were taking some pre-orders so I ordered my sparkling wine advent calendar so for my countdown to New Year's I am gonna be ready so you know I love doing my planner and of course I'm really behind it showing you guys so I think the last vlog I did I did April it was the one with the jelly beans birthday it was the one where Rainer and family came out so at the end of this we will do May I'm I kind of tried to pre-record that last night and I'll try to put it together tonight uh, before I uh, get this posted if it's too lengthy then I might just kind of fast forward to that and kind of put it to music and do that but I really do enjoy these uh, my advent calendars and here was this what is oh that's that's me you're gonna see that in a minute so let's pick another one so this one is from July this is my sister Linda's birthday week so that was what it looks like for her and of course I got a picture of course I can't see if I'm centered or not but we've got Linda as a child with her bright red hair is that there it is with her bright red hair and what she looks like kind of today so I just uh, love doing my planner not only do I put in things that I need to know if I happen to have appointments or things put that in there some current pictures the thumbnails things like that and it's just really fun so we are going to show that at the end um, and then we're going to do the giveaway so I'll do the planner then I'll do the giveaway and then I'll be back just for a quick little closing believe in yourself the first week in May included Cinco de Mayo so we had margaritas on Friday we had sangria on Wednesday on the weekend it was King Charles and Queen Camilla their coronation so I watched that on TV I even made my own invitation uh, Sunday was the coronation uh, concert so that was fun to watch as well a lot of great acts and also Tori Pie she started her own YouTube channel her first short had over 1.3 thousand views within the first few hours Going on to the second week in May, I used that fun Wednesday kit. We had vinyl, you know, that's one of my favorites. We had Matty Matt getting braces on Tuesday. He was so excited to get them. Spring finally came to Minnesota on Saturday the 13th. The girls and their family sent us the most beautiful flowers for Mother's Day, and I've got them posted behind me when I did a vlog on Mother's Day. Um... I also started watching season 11 of The Walking Dead. The next week in May, it was actually Raina and Jeremy Duff's, their wedding anniversary week. They were married on May 20th, 2020, so 23 happy years. So we've got pictures of Raina and her dad, Rick. We've got a picture of our family down at the bottom where we've got Sabrina and Rick. We've got... Raina and Jeremy, myself with my big hair that's still big, and we got my mom there. So that was just some fun memories and the wedding party in front of the waterfalls. We have a picture of Raina and Sabrina and Raina and Jeremy. For the last full week in May, we've got that I made, I put together my own barbecue grill. I was so, so excited to get that done. Um, just a fun week. Um, I actually got the deck all cleaned, getting ready for Memorial Day weekend. I had ripped up the old carpet and put down a new carpet, cleaned the cushions, cleaned the tables, and I am all ready to relax on Memorial Day weekend. And we are ready to pick the winner for glossy box number one. I'm using this new site wheelofnames.com and we've got all the names of everyone who put in for glossy box number one right here their names go on this wheel and let's pick a winner shall we good luck everyone
and we have a winner. We have Mary Cho. I don't believe Ma Mary Cho has ever won from me before, so congratulations. Thank you, Mary Cho, for all your support. I truly, truly appreciate you. I will have my email linked below, so please uh, let me know where to send this to. And again, thank you so much for participating. Alrighty, so we are ready to pick the winner for the second glossy box. So glossy box number two. We had seven people that put in for this. We have your names on the wheel. And again, we are using the website wheelofnames.com. Alrighty, so let's pick a winner for glossy box number two. Good luck, everyone. Let's go. Alrighty, and we have a winner. Congratulations, Ali Bao. So anyway, I hope everyone congratulates both our winners, Mari Cho and Ali Bao. Thank you, everyone that participated. Thanks, everyone, for your support. And anyway, we will uh, get right back to the video. Alrighty, so that was fun. I'm hoping this new comment picker or the random names stays in place where they don't decide that now all of a sudden they want to have you charge to do it. It's been really fun, easy enough to do. Probably the hardest part for me is getting it off my phone and into this computer so I can kind of uh, mix it in with that software I have. But anyway, it was really, really fun to do. I think that was the best part of Glossy Box sending me these boxes over and over again is that I had these extra ones that I could do as a little giveaway. I know it's not much. You guys know what I paid for it. It's just my way of thanking you guys. I appreciate you so much that you take time out of your day to spend with me. I don't know how you guys do it. I really don't. Between working, you guys have families that you take care of. So you've got your normal housework. You've got your husband or your spouse that you take care of and your children and your puppies. And it just means so, and you support so many of us too. And or those of you that have a channel that have your channels and you still comment on everybody's videos, it, how you guys do it, I don't know. But this is my way of thanking you and letting you know how much I appreciate you. So anyway, your comments, of course, always welcome. I hope you give my video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you take a quick second, hit that little subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. I don't do a lot of giveaways, but I do like to do them every now and then just to let you guys know that I'm thinking of you and that I appreciate you so much. I hope you don't mind my showing you my planner here and there. It's just such an important part of my life to kind of document where I am and things like that when I'm not doing YouTube anymore. <coughs> Sorry, when I'm not doing YouTube anymore because I'm just too old to do it. I think it will be fun to kind of look back and just see some of these crazy costumes and the hats and things that I wore and looking at those thumbnails and just remembering that this is really a good time in my life and just sharing memories with you guys and sharing them with me it just it's it's awesome and again the giveaway love doing it so anyway i want to thank you guys again so much for our two winners i hope you um comment below that you saw this video i'll have my email below as well i you know i've got my one that's connected to my youtube account but usually i just use my work account because i've even been doing emails saturday and sunday today i'm just keeping up with work so Anyway, I hope you uh, respond. Let me know where to ship this to. Again, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys go out. Have a fabulous week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.